Minister, uh, to ask if you will advocate with your European Union counterparts to follow the lead of Australia in banning super trawlers from our national waters under the jurisdiction of the Common Fisheries Policy uh, in response, Minister, to the outrage, uh, growing outrage in Irish coastal communities uh, at the spectacle uh, of these uh, huge ships hoovering up fish uh, while inshore uh, fishing communities are struggling so much. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Question number 34. Uh, yeah, thanks, Deputy McLaughlin, for your question. And as you know, under the Common Fisheries Policy, uh, EU fishing fleets are given equal access to EU waters and fishing grounds uh, subject to allocated fish quotas. The fishing vessels, irrespective of their size, have to comply with the rules of, of the Common Fishery Policy, which includes rules in relation to access and catch limits or quota. In relation to access to Ireland's coastal waters by foreign vessels, I would point out that on the northwest coast, all foreign fishing vessels are excluded from Ireland's 12-mile fishing zone, other than for transit and shelter purposes. All foreign pelagic fishing vessels are also precluded from fishing in Ireland's 12-mile fishing zone on the west coast. Um, Irish fishing uh, vessels greater than or equal to 36.58 metres in length are also precluded from fishing in Ireland's 12-mile zone. Um, changes to fishery policy involving access or restriction to fishing opportunities or fishing areas come within the sole competence of the European Union. Um, member states are permitted to introduce non-discriminatory measures within the 12-mile zone, subject to compliance with policy and procedures set down within the, the, the Common Fisheries Policy. As an EU common policy, a proposal must in the first instance be made by the EU Commission. Any proposal of this nature would be expected to have broad application to EU waters and would be expected to apply to all fishing vessels of a particular size or using identified non-sustainable fishing gear. It would appear that your query relates to large fishing vessels, obviously targeting pelagic stocks such as mackerel, horse mackerel or, and herring. And as you will be aware, Deputy, the Irish fleet concludes such fishing vessels as well. In relation to Ireland's position, to any such proposal from the EU Commission, it would be essential to have regard for the potential impacts on our own Irish fleet. Um, Ireland's control authorities, the Sea Fisheries Protection Authority and Naval Service are responsible for monitoring and control of fishing vessels, including large vessels targeting pelagic stocks in our exclusive fishery zone to ensure compliance with the, the rules of the EU common fisheries policy. Minister, uh, Minister, you will know that on 12 of November last, uh, it was reported that there were two Dutch registered uh, monster vessels fishing off the Donegal coast. Uh, one was a super trawler, one was a factory ship. One was 470 foot long, the other 414 foot long, hoovering up fish. There are widespread concerns about the sustainable, uh, uh, how can you talk about sustainability at fisheries when you have uh, you know, vessels of this size hoovering up fish, big concerns about discards that are going back into the sea, lack of CCTV, lack of observers, uh, lack of uh, accountability to ensure that they are actually catching what they're supposed to be catching. It really is hard to take when we have given up 80% uh, of the 1.2 million tonnes that are caught in Irish waters every year. We give up 80% in that entire zone. And I think you need to fight for Aaron's interests and seek to put an end to this practice. Minister, please. Um, thank you, Deputy McLaughlin. And, and listen, uh, as a minister, no more than yourself, as a deputy from a coastal county, um, protecting and uh, trying to uh, uh, ensure the welfare and incomes of our, of our fishermen is something that is very important to me. Um, and certainly no more so at the moment than with regard to the Brexit negotiations and in terms of the, the very solid and uh, forthright campaign we've put in working with our European maritime uh, um, uh, nations, na nation partners to try and ensure a good outcome from the, the Brexit scenario uh, in terms of access to British waters and also in terms of uh, maintaining our quota share. Um, in relation to this particular issue, as I pointed out to you, it is a European competence. If there were to be changes, it would have to be at European level and would have to apply to all European waters. 
not just outside of the Irish 12-mile zone. As I pointed out to you, these vessels are already precluded from entering the Irish 12-mile zone, and that will continue into the future. And I think in terms of developing the proposal further, Deputy McLaughlin, in relation to the next common fishery policy, thought would have to be given by yourself in terms as well, whether are you proposing that this would apply to Irish vessels which would have similar catching capacity, because certainly um, as there would be similar capacity uh, uh, with a lot of our domestic fleet in relation to, the, to, to catches. Let's just deal with the 12 mile issue first, okay? The, the exclusive economic zone uh, of, of, our, of our country is 200 miles, 200 miles, not 12 miles, 200 miles. Uh, there are immense resources of fisheries outside the 12 mile limit. And as I say, we've already given up 80% uh, of that, 80%. You know, now, when you talk about the size of the ships, this is really important too. What Australia have banned are vessels over 120 metres. Now, I don't think there's any vessels of that size in the Irish fleet. Of course, we had the famous or the infamous Atlantic Dawn a number of years ago. Um, so we need to be serious about sustainability. If we're saying to particularly uh, you know, our mid-size fleet uh, fishing under producer organisations around our coast, about sustainability and the need to protect the six-mile limit. How can we say we need to protect the six-mile limit and the fishing stocks within that while we allow the practice of super trawlers over 120 metres, some of the biggest in the world, who literally hoover the fish out of the sea, all species, all species with huge discards. You, and we know this is an appalling practice that undermines everything else we do. So I'm saying to you, Minister, I'm asking you to start the battle to start the process of change you, amongst your European colleagues. Minister, please. I think sustainability of our fishers is really, really important, Deputy McLaughlin, and it's really important in the way that we fish that we ensure we do it at a sustainable level, that while it gives uh, good income today to our fishermen, ensures that the stocks are there for the years ahead. And the way that that's done at European level is through a quota system. I'll bet it's very much contested, as we know at all times, but uh, there's a quota system there in terms of that's, that puts a maximum limit in what can be uh, fished from the sea by any vessel, regardless of what its size is. It's based on the quota they, the, the, that a vessel might have. Um, so a vessel, whether small or large, is restricted by its quota, and it's that quota which is set in order to ensure the sustainability that there isn't any more fish than that actually um, taken out of the sea. As I say, there is a distinction between self six mile and between 12 mile and between 200 mile zone. Within the 12 mile zone, none of these vessels are allowed to fish. Outside of the 12 mile zone, it's standard European rules that apply, and it's our own national competence agencies, whether it's SFPA or the Naval Service, that are, that are charged with ensuring that there is oversight and implementation of rules. And I think it's particularly Thank important you. for large vessels like that that there's very strong oversight, as with all our fishing sector. Uh, and, and certainly, uh, and that has to be applied to, to, to all vessels. Um, but certainly, uh, I think, uh, in relation to the point you're making, the sustainability is dictated by, by the quota size and by the quota share. Um, you, but I, I don't detract from the fact that this is, a, is, is, a, is an issue which certainly um, causes a lot of emotion with people, and uh, understandably so. Thank yeah. you.